moving on, let's talk about New Year's resolutions. Obviously, 2020 is coming to a close and 2021 is right around the corner. So we got to talk about those resolutions. And to help us do just that, Jeff Brandeis is going to tell us how to make a list and to stick to it. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm happy to have you. Now, let's get to it. How can we all be more productive and manage our time better in the new year? Well, managing time is obviously one thing that we all have only a limited amount of. We all have the same amount of time. So one, list list your goals, list your priorities. I always like to have people create what their long-term goals are and even what their short-term goals are. Short-term being six months or less Mm -hmm. and long-term being greater than six months and even up to two or three years. Mm-hmm. Now, whenever we just turn the corner of all, on all the Christmas eating and getting with the family and we say, you know what? We start the year fresh. This, this year is yep. my year. I'm going to do A, B, C, X, Y, C, and then they stop. Why is that? Why, why, why does that happen? Why do people do that? Well, it's because you're not holding yourself accountable. Mm-hmm. You, you, you really actually, at the end of the day, most people make their resolutions in their mind. But if you actually write it down, you create the plan, and you begin to organize your priorities, then you will have a more likelihood of sticking with it. And if you get in the habit of looking at your priorities every morning, you set your ABC list, you focus on your A's, and you knock those out. And one by one, you begin to get into managing your time a whole lot better. You say ABC. What do you mean by that? You mean a sequential list, or is that a ABC, concept? Of so ABC is uh, your biggest priorities, the major must get done, the Bs that could be, you know, I'm okay if those hold off another day or so, uh-huh. and the Cs, I mean, they're more nuisances. Yeah, I, knew I need to get to them, but at the end of the day, it's all about those A's. Those yes. are the hot buttons. Those are the ones that must get done, and sometimes you have some big lists of A's, so you really got to look at them and, you know, kind of like Swiss cheese, knock holes in them one by one. (laughs) One by one. Now, you talked about setting goals and accountability, what comes with that. But the absence of accountability is what can lead to procrastination. Can we eliminate that going into the new year? Well, uh, part of it's a mindset, and part of it's holding yourself accountable, and conceivably part of it is having someone coach you and Mm. making you hold yourself accountable to doing what you need to do on a daily basis. And I know some of us have managers and those lo- those lists get to be pretty long. So w- talk to your manager, find out what the priorities are for them, which then become the priority for you as well. So have those conversations. It's good for both parties. Good for both parties. Now, what are you looking forward to in the new year? I'm Overall. looking forward to growth, scaling, uh-huh. happiness, getting over our... Uh, the way you're living right now, to be uh-huh. candid with you. So we all can get back into somewhat more of a normal life. Hopefully uh, the vaccine obviously begins to take effect and we get back to more face-to-face, more eating out, and businesses begin to get back to normal. Now, what is one final thing you'd like to leave our viewers with, whether it's a piece of, whether it's a tidbit of advice, whether it's a tool, a tactic, something that they can employ in their lives that can increase their productivity or reduce their procrastination, whatever it is, what do you have for us? Make that list every morning or the night before you go to sleep so that when you wake up in the morning, you know what you need to focus in on or before you start your day and while you're having your coffee, make that list so you can make those A's, put the C's in the drawer Put them below and make one piece of paper. Don't con- don't have 20 sheets or sticky notes all over your, your, your desk. So you're focused. You know what you need to accomplish. And you will keep to your New Year's resolution, which is making the most of your time and getting and setting your priorities the right way. Love that. Thank you so much for being here today, Jeff. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Philip. You got it, brother.